And this is the story that is burning up the internet today. A 14-year-old Muslim student arrested after showing off his homemade clock. Ahmed Mohammed is an Irving, Texas ninth grader and an amateur inventor who fashioned his clock out of a pencil case. He says he showed it off to his English teacher on Monday after the clock beeped during class. And I showed it to her and she like, her eyes got open and she was like, is that a bomb? And I was like, no, it's not a bomb. It's a clock. And she's like, well, it looks like a bomb. She was like, no, show anyone else. And she decided to take it from me. Later that day, Ahmed was placed in handcuffs, taken to a juvenile detention center, and interrogated, part of a response that he calls discriminatory. They searched me, took my fingerprint and mugshots of me like I was a criminal. It's just discrimination, and it's not just happening to me. It's happening to other kids around the Irving District. Police released a photo of the clock today. They say they acted out of an abundance of caution, and they're adamant that their response would have been the same if Ahmed were white. Our reaction would have been the same either way. That's a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to schools. Ahmed's three-day suspension for the incident remains in effect, but he's getting huge support online with the hashtag I stand with Ahmed trending all day. In fact, Mark Zuckerberg has invited Ahmed to drop by Facebook, and the White House says it's invited Ahmed to next month's astronomy night after President Obama tweeted today, Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America great. Ibrahim Hooper is the National Communications Director for the Council on American Islamic Relations, and he joins us now. Uh, Ibrahim, thank you very much for joining us. The police Thanks say Ahmed's me. background had nothing to do with his treatment, that this was an abundance of caution around a suspicious device. What do you yeah. think about that? I, I think it's clear anyone would realize that if his name wasn't Ahmed Mohammed and he wasn't uh, dark skinned, if he wasn't Muslim, this would have never happened. So I think it just any reasonable person would understand that that is the case. I think it's just symptomatic of the growing Islamophobia we're seeing in our nation. Uh, it's it happens to Muslim kids that we get reports of bullying all the time. It happens happens to people who aren't Muslim. A Sikh man was uh, beaten up and called bin Laden in Chicago. We just had another uh, person sentenced to a long time in prison for beating up another elderly Sikh man in California. Uh, Muslim uh, uh, religious institutions are targeted with vandalism. We're seeing this unfortunate rise in Islamophobia, and this is just one symptom of that. And Mr. Hooper, the police chief indicated he'd be meeting with Ahmed's family this <clears throat> afternoon. Has the family gotten any kind of apology from police? I mean, do you think that they deserve an apology? Well, they clearly deserve an apology, and they may deserve more than that when this is finished. Uh, I haven't seen any apologies coming from officials. Uh, we're uh, connecting the family with legal advice. We've been uh, with the family uh, since yesterday. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll do what's needed to make sure that his rights are protected and that this doesn't carry with him throughout the rest of his life. Uh, can you imagine do, being forced at 14 years old to do the perp walk in handcuffs out of your school in front of everybody? I think uh, the president was right to invite him to the White House. I think if he goes to the White House, uh, uh, this may help get rid of that stigma that he's now uh, facing in school. The response online, as you mentioned, has been overwhelming, going all the way up to the White House. And, and I want to play what White House spokesperson Josh Ernest said today. Take a listen to what he said. In this instance, it's clear that at least some of Ahmed's teachers failed him. That's too bad. But it's not too late for all of us to use this as a teachable moment and to search our own conscience for biases in whatever form they take. Is it enough to make this a, quote, teachable moment, or does there need to be more accountability here? Well, it should be a teachable moment not only for the teachers and school officials, but our nation's leaders. For too long, our nation's religious and political leaders, from the top on down, have failed to uh, speak out against the growing Islamophobia in our nation. And the, the hate mongers out there take it 
as acceptance for what they're doing and what they're saying. This doesn't happen in isolation. It happens in an atmosphere in which uh, the entire Internet is a cesspool of anti-Muslim hate. It happens when school board officials in Minnesota and Virginia post anti-Muslim statements on Facebook. It happens when all, all of these things happen and it, they need to speak out and push back against this Islamophobia. All right, Ibrahim Hooper, thank you very much for that. And we'd like to tell our thank viewers you. that Ahmed Mohammed will be Chris Hayes' guest tonight on All In at 8 Eastern right here on MSNBC. So you don't